Listen up, people! I got a very important video here today. A whole ton of y'all been asking me since, literally it's been a few weeks since I even talked about jump shots. And so much has changed, I couldn't come out here and try and tell you. <laughs> I have so much water bottles around me, ignore that. But I've been, I've been finding jump shots, man. I, I don't know what to tell y'all, man. I just been finding jump shots now. And on top of that, we have some info straight out of NBA 2K Lab we're gonna be talking about here in this video. If you want to shoot consistently, you're gonna make it through the video. And on that note, hold up. I know some of y'all hooping were alike. Bro, we got some of the waviest tees in the store. You won't believe this. You have Hall of Fame, Dime. Yo, the mess, it looks so clean, bro. We got one for Dimer, Ankle Breaker, and Limitless Range in the store right now. Links in the description. Use code AGENT for 15% off. And I got y'all with the plug, bro. I'm hooking y'all up. Y'all could kill people, take ankles, step back, Limitless Range in real life, and you can let him know. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, it's a wavy ass design, bro. I don't know what to tell y'all. And on that note, let's get into the video. Now, a lot of y'all been asking me, Agent, what shot are you currently using? For the last few weeks, my answer has been, none of your damn business. It felt like every time I talked about something, it was getting patched. So I was trying to keep things low key for myself, and it seems like, it seems like they're not patching stuff anymore. Now, I'm gonna let y'all in on something, uh, and I don't want y'all telling nobody that's not subscribed to the channel. We're keeping that between me and you. The bases that were wavy in 2K17, are still wavy this year. You heard it here first. I went back to test all my A1 and A2 jump shots from last year, cause I was struggling. I didn't know what to do, bro. They was messing with all my bases. I didn't know what to do. And so I first tried base 49. Now y'all know from last year, base 49 was the first base to ever hit A1 status. I told y'all uh, like in a video last week, I tested that with NBA 2K Lab. They came back with the results. They told me, agent, this has the biggest green percentage. No, they said make percentage. It didn't have the biggest green window. I think it was second or third. And then I was like, wow, okay. So now we could keep doing this. Unfortunately, all the other bases and jump shots from last year look so and feel so different. I don't even know if it'd be worth using or sending to 2K Lab. It was just that one base 49. So I began to experiment with that base. Now, for those of you who don't know, the base is the, the meat of the jump shot, right? You can use any release. The release is just to find your cue, to know when to release the ball. But the base determines everything, like the green percentage, the make percentage. Really, if you have a bad base, you could put any release on it, and then you're still not gonna hit your custom jump shot. I've come across people using straight up base 49. Uh, I'm using my A1 release from last year, base 49 and Curry, especially on the playground. I recommend y'all try that out. I can't even tell y'all a cue, because if I try to explain the cue, you probably just get more confused. But just play with it, it's a rhythm shot. There's gonna be half y'all that fall in love with the jump shot, there's gonna be the other half where like, I'm just not feeling. And so it really depends on your style here. It works for me, it's the jump shot I've been rolling. Uh, there's been jump shots that a bunch of people have told me and they say, Agent, do not make a video on this jump shot, my guy. They say, yo, Agent can drop a video. I'm not gonna drop a video on other people's jump shots, all right? That's, that's a snake move. You know, you never know when Mike Wang is gonna patch something, right? So I'm gonna leave all that other stuff alone. But I use a separate jump shot for the Pro-Am that I'm not gonna be talking about. Now, there's some additional set of information that is very interesting because we all figured but to see the stats is something fresh. All right, y'all know I mess with NBA 2K Lab. They dropped some of the most fire info. It's, we're all thinking it, and then just to see it in numbers, it's like, wow, it's a fact now. I'm gonna leave a link in the description. A lot of the content on their website is free, but if you wanna use the premium content, use code AGENT. You can get, what was it, like 15% off, 20% off? Got y'all. I'm a plug. But they gave me some info, and they're like, AGENT, you should talk about this. I was like, all right, let's do it, bro. It's wavy. Right? <laughs> so they used Gallinari's base. They had a 92 open shot, a 92 contested shot three, and they had no badges on the player, and they were testing contested shots. People been losing their damn minds over... Y'all need to relax. Contested shots are poor shots. That's what I know. So if you're gonna take them, I'm gonna give them to you. Those are just the facts. Some other shots we can all agree do not deserve to go in. So a lightly contested shot in these tests have a 21 millisecond good window and a 34% make percent. Now I need y'all to know that's atrocious. On the top tier releases that's on their website, like 
you're, you're pushing 55, 60% make percentages. So to see 35, I'm telling y'all those contested shots are not wavy. Again, these are without badges, a 92 open shot three. So if you're a pure shot with a 99 and Hall of Fame deep range dead eye, it's gonna vary. But this is a good base. To remove the badges is to remove some variables that could affect stats. Heavily contested shots, you see the numbers drop, 16 milliseconds and a 13% make percentage. And the thing I found interesting was the release actually took three millisecond longer on heavily contested shot. So apparently it's meant to be timed differently and you get different animations depending on the contest. They mentioned the smothered was very difficult to test. The release timing jumped up dramatically. Almost 30 milliseconds, a good window of five milliseconds. Keep in mind, these aren't green windows, they're good release windows. Cause on contested shots, it becomes really difficult to get a green, so it was difficult for them to test for those. They had a, a, a five millisecond good window, which means, guys, the chance of dropping, make percentage is 3%. So what I found frustrating for me was people would send me that 3% make percentage, somebody smothered, okay, 3% it goes in. People would send that to me on Twitter like, agent, how could you, what do you mean they shouldn't be nerfed? I'm saying if they want to take a 3% shot, I'll gladly give it to them over and over and over. Occasionally it gets frustrating like, oh, that dropped and I missed the wide open white. We all know that frustration. We could all relate. They also sent me another bit of info. And this one to me was more interesting because the pre, what I just mentioned about contested shots, we knew, but it's cool to see it in fact. But this right here was a flab, it flabbergasted me. I just used the word I've never in my life even attempted using because I don't know how else to describe this set of stats. They were testing leaning shots. So with your feet set, not shooting instantly, wait, feet set, pull up. There's a 506 milliseconds. The green percentage was 36%. The white make percentage was 24%. Gallinari, out of all the jump shots they have on their website, probably has one of the highest white percentages which is important. So many people focus on the green percentage, but I'm telling y'all off experience, you're not gonna hit green every single time. And if you have a jump shot that can't hit whites, you're gonna be in trouble. Uh, I just, Gullinari is, I don't know, I don't, I don't really mess with it this year. Last year I really liked it, but not this year. So if you shoot instantly and you lean on the shot, 398 milliseconds is gonna be your earliest green. They said the green and white percentages were about the same, but the window was only nine milliseconds. So between the regular jump shot and the leaning jump shot, you're going from a 26 millisecond green window to a nine millisecond. At that point, you're just rolling the dice and hoping it lands on green. The jump shot is significantly faster when you're leaning as well, which is different because I know for Gullinari that might be the case, but for many other jump shots, it feels a lot slower. So unless you're practicing those ridiculous jump shots, which it might be a move, yeah, you might have to practice leaning shots. You never know when you might run up on one in game and actually have to time it. But they're generally awful shots to shoot with a window that you couldn't time as a human being. I don't even need to quantify how small nine milliseconds is, all right? Green windows in general before patch four were already small in terms of timing. To hit them consistently is somewhat difficult. After the patch, it became more difficult, but to hit nine, GG. So anyway, I hope I helped y'all out and this saved y'all time. Yo, cop y'all merch, man. I know these tees are fire, bro. Hey, link is in the description. <laughs> My guys, bro, it's off, man. You got me gassed up. Uh, I got like seven of those shirts in my house. I don't even have the badge in real life. I just have the shirt, bro. <laughs> hey, if y'all enjoyed, make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new. I'ma catch y'all later. I'm out.